Hello, this is Pastor Michael Eaton, the senior pastor of the Bethlehem Baptist Church here in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. And today I want to announce the release of The Secret to Your Best Life, the workbook, Understanding the Will of God Through the Word of God. And we'd like you to pick up a copy of this uh, handy workbook with uh, the new scan that technology. So you can go through the book, The Secret to Your Best Life, Learn God's Plans, Preparation, Products, and Path, and Purpose for Your Life. And uh, also you can use the scan technology to go into a deeper understanding through watching videos and listening to MP3 files, sermons, uh, to help bring out a better understanding while you're taking notes as well in The Secret to Your Best Life, the workbook. So we want you to pick this up and they will be available within major bookstores in about six weeks. It's already available now on Amazon.com and uh, we'd just love for you to pick up a copy as well as Kindle. So. We'd love for you to pick up a copy of The Secret to Your Best Life, Understanding the Will of God Through the Word of God, the workbook edition with the new scan technology. I don't believe that this technology is being used to teach uh, the Word of God anywhere else. So get this book and also pick up other books that I have available regular Secret to Your Best Life, uh, just a regular book, as well as How to Choose a Worthy Mate. And if you're going to be a part of my class entitled The Effective Bible Reader, pick up that uh, before you come to class on Amazon.com. So we want to thank you for listening. May God bless you and keep you is my prayer. Be the person of the Savior. And we want Christians to know this morning that Christians should believe in the power of God's grace to save a sin-sick soul. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Christians should believe in the power of God's grace to save a sin-sick soul. Mm -hmm. And we'll watch this brief video and then get into the Word. Why are you doing this? Reuben is a pompous fool. Not that. Chasing after these people because they believe differently than you. That's what God wants. How do you know? They're teaching lies. Their Messiah is dead. They're taking advantage of our countrymen. The law preserves Israel. It must be followed at all costs. People risk their lives by believing in Jesus. No one is being taken advantage of. It is a play for power by a sect who lost their leader. Now they don't want to lose their position. They're making up lies. They do miracles in his name. But that's a positive sign of false teaching. Only God can perform miracles. They say Jesus is God. There's only one God. What if you're wrong? Man was notorious. 
he was there when that first preaching deacon was stoned to death. And from that point on, he led the persecution of the church. Yes. And as we say throughout this series, and this man was so notorious that he would go from house to house and, uh, oh, knocking on the door, trying to get folk who believed in the way. Come on. This man was so notorious that he didn't believe in the mercy of, uh, oh, of allowing the women and children uh, to be left alone. Mm -hmm. This man would grab up the man and uh, the women mm -hmm. as he persecuted them and put them uh, in church. And we saw how that persecution spread it the gospel and how it was working together for the gospel because because of that persecution Philip, uh, oh the second preaching deacon of the seven uh, went down to Samaria and he began to share the word of God uh, and we learned last week about Simon the Magnificent uh, and after God had uh, oh took him and there in Samaria the spirit of God uh, took him uh, off the scene and led him to a, a desert place to an Ethiopian eunuch uh, to which we've been mentioning all morning long. He had a divine appointment in the, the desert place. Uh, oh, and I said on Wednesday night, have you ever been led uh, to a desert place? Have, wow. Has God ever led you uh, to a desert place uh, for his mission or for a message? Wow. Uh, oh, God had a message. Uh, oh, and a mission for Philip to, oh, to reach that uh, eunuch there and to baptize him. And then uh, as you look on the face of, of, the face of Scripture, then Philip disappeared. Mm -hmm. And then we get to chapter 9 and we hear about that old mean, mean man by the name of uh, Saul. Yes, yeah. If he had a theme song, it would be he's bad, bad Leroy Saul. <laughs> Oh, the same folk that believe uh, 
that Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, uh, is being persecuted. Oh, and Saul, hello somebody, oh, that bad, bad old Leroy Saul, yeah. oh, was doing uh, his job. Uh, hello somebody. Yeah. So if you're here today, you're being persecuted. Uh, oh, you're not alone. Uh, Acts chapter 26, uh, oh, from uh, Saul's own mouth, he said many times, uh, I went from the synagogues, uh, what, to another to have them, what, uh, punished. Uh -huh. and, and, and I tried to do what, force them to what, uh -huh. last thing, hello somebody. He says, I was obsessed uh, with persecuting them that I even, what, hunted them down in, what, foreign cities. Uh, hello somebody, I, I just didn't say it much, uh, the Jewish nation. Uh, I went uh, oh, amongst uh, foreign nations. Uh, hello, somebody. These were his own words. Uh, before he had got saved, uh, oh, he went out. Uh, oh, looking to punish. He went out uh, looking to make them blaspheme. Uh, like the devil is trying to get somebody to blaspheme. Uh, you believe, uh, but it got hard. Uh, you were baptized, uh, but it got hard. Uh, oh, and you decided uh, to turn away from your faith. You decided to give up. You decided to stop coming to church. You decided to stop coming to Sunday school. You decided to stop oh, coming on Wednesday night because it was hard. The devil was after you. He was running you down and he tried to get you to blaspheme because you have been persecuted. Oh, it's not Saul in the Bible. It may be your boss. It's not Saul in the Bible. It may be your own wife. It, it may be your neighbors. It may be your children. Hello, somebody persecuting you because of what you believe and trying to get you to blaspheme. Oh. Hello, somebody. Is anybody here who oh, ever had any troubles in this life? Oh, it seemed like oh, when you were living for the devil, you had it made. Oh, you knew how you were going to pay your bills. It seemed like everything was all right. Everything was okay, but when you gave your life to Jesus Christ, it got hard. Hello, somebody in the world, you had your homies in your buddies, but in the church, oh, you're dealing with some church folk. Hello, somebody, and they're persecuting you. Hello, somebody. Oh, but God says today, oh, even though you're being persecuted, don't blaspheme. Even though you're being persecuted, continue on your face. Uh, oh, in Jesus' name. And know that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Uh, I will repay uh, in Jesus' name. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, poor neighbor, God's got your back. God's got your back. In Jesus' name. Oh, that Saul was persecuted. Mm -hmm. but he had the audacity not only to persecute, but he got permission. Hello, somebody. Right. He, he went down and he was down, going down to oh, Damascus. <laughs> and when he was going down to Damascus, not to, 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 to worship uh, oh, a holy God in a foreign place. Uh, Oh, but he went down to Damascus, what, to ask, to, oh, ask him for letters to what, uh, the to the synagogue in Damascus. What did he want to do with those letters? Uh, so what? Uh, so that if he found any mm -hmm. who belonged to the way, whether well, man or women, come on now, he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. Say it, say it. Yeah. These folks running away from persecution, trying to get away. Oh, and Paul, oh. He thinks he's a bounty hunter. Hello, somebody. Oh, and he's going down. Oh, to follow him. Hello, somebody. Oh, the Christian folk pulled a, a Richard Kimball and, and tried to run and get away from the persecution. Oh, but Saul, oh, wanted to be a bounty hunter. Hello, somebody. Oh, for oh, for the church there in Jerusalem or the synagogue in Jerusalem. Oh, and he went to Damascus. Oh, to worship there, but to get permission, oh, to pick on the people of God. To hello, somebody. Oh, some of you know what it's like. Oh, for have folk to have permission to pick out, oh, to pick out on you. Oh, to pick on you. Hello, somebody preached a sermon uh, entitled Picked Out to be picked on. Hello, somebody. And it seemed like that no matter where you run, it seemed like no matter where you go, you can't get away from your persecutor. 
Hello, somebody. I've heard it. Oh, women who are in abusive relationships and they try to leave home and they run and the person that's abusing them find them and try to abuse them yet still more. Oh, and that's what Paul was doing. Oh, he was oh, abusing them yet still more. They thought they could get away, but Paul, who's known as Saul, was hounding them. Hello, somebody. Oh, he was hounding them. Some of us so Acts uh, 22 5 says, as the high priest uh, and all the council uh, can themselves testify, testify, he said, this is Saul once again. I even obtained letters from them uh, to their what associates and were the masters and what and went there to bring uh, these people as prisoners to Jerusalem to punish. Wow. He wasn't playing. What? Did they do so? Did they kill somebody? Yeah, what, what did they do? Did they murder somebody? Did, what did they do? Did they commit? Uh, oh, were they robbing people? Were they stealing? For what? What did they do? Was it a, a felony that they committed? What? What did they do? So to where you would hound them like this uh, and want to put them in prison? What did they do? Did it take all of that? So. Come on. All right. Hello, somebody. To him, it did take all of that. Mm -hmm. These folk believed in Christ. Come on, man. And that was a different set than what was going on there in Jerusalem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Jewish folk thought that they were, uh, really, really were, the, the chosen people of God. But God would say, I got some more folk I, I want to get saved. Man. Hello, somebody. So, uh, <sighs> It was horrible. Yes. Horrible. Mm -hmm. And we really can't relate in our day and time. Come on, man. Or maybe somebody overseas who tune in to our messages can, can relate because to them, uh, this is not something that's far fetched. This is something that's right. really happening. They're, right. they're oh, being thrown no. uh, in right. prison. They're, right. they're being beat. They're being mocked. Uh, they're being scorned. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they are being thrown in prison. He Hello, somebody! Come on. Hello, somebody. I know we can't understand it. Amen. We really can't. If, if we end up in prison, it's because we did something wrong. That's right. Hello, somebody. These folks didn't do nothing but believe in Jesus. Come on, amen. Ooh. And were treated like common criminals. Hello, somebody. Oh, good. So what do you do when you're being mistreated for the law? I'm all right. I'm glad like you asked. Yeah. Come on now. I got good news for you. Come on. Hello, somebody. That good news comes in the person of the Savior. Thank you, Lord. He called out to that boy. Oh, little bad man, Leroy Saul. <laughs> Said Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? <coughs> Wait a minute. Come on now. now Jesus right now is at the right hand side of the Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he posed the question, why are you persecuting me? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep, that's deep. Mm -hmm. We hear that he was persecuting the disciples mm -hmm. here on earth. Mm -hmm. But when the person of the Savior cried out to Saul, he said, you're persecuting me. Hello, somebody. Right. And, and, and Saul said, what? Who, who are you, Lord? Yeah. Hello, yeah. somebody. He didn't know who he was, but he didn't know he was Lord, Lord. by that time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. Hello, somebody. He, he didn't know who he was, but he didn't know he was Lord at this time when, when God stopped him in the middle of the tracks uh, trying to persecute yet still more. Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And Jesus said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Hello, somebody. Good news in this text today is that if you came here and you're being persecuted, guess what? Oh, it's not you that's being persecuted. It's the Christ in you that's being persecuted. Hello, somebody. 
what? And if it's the Christ in you that's being persecuted, then guess what? Then Christ can take care of you. Hello, someone. Christ can take care of you. Christ took care of this madman. Hello, somebody. Christ took care of this bad, bad Leroy Saul. Oh, and what did he do? Oh, did he kill him dead right there? Oh, no. Come on. No, no, he didn't that's do that. That's what we wanted well done. <laughs> right. He's messing with us. Right, right. Hello, somebody. He did something else. We want him dead right now, Lord. Hello, son. We want, we want you to give him leprosy. We want you to make him suffer, Lord. Like, Hello, son. Like I heard preachers that get so mad at deacons and they're praying against the... No, you don't pray against the deacons. Man. Hello, somebody. Man. Hello, somebody. The thing you need to pray is that they get saved if they're not. Hello, somebody. Because evidently they don't know that you're on the same team. Yeah. Hello, somebody. When, when, when there's butler fighting and fussing and arguing and all, the folks don't realize uh, that you're on the run of the same team. This is March Madness. Uh, oh, back in the day when come I played on, basketball, I'd go up for the rebound, and if somebody on my team got the ball like I got it, I would say, I wouldn't argue with him and say, this is my ball. Oh, this is the meaning of the ball. I know what to do with the ball. Uh, no, I would say, same team. Uh, hello, somebody. We stop fighting one another and get uh, uh, to doing the mission that we're supposed to do, which was to win. Uh, hello, somebody. That's why, you know, uh, you don't pray against the pastor. Pray for the pastor. Don't pray against the nigga. Pray for the nigga. Don't pray against folk in here that treat you wrong, that are mistreated. Pray for them. Hello, somebody. Don't pray that God would kill him. Oh, it grieves my heart all the time where oh, preachers are saying, oh, well, God had to have some funerals in there before his mission got done. God don't need to do funerals. The greatest miracle is to change a man. Hello, somebody. The greatest miracle is salvation. Amen. Hello, somebody. And God, even though he was persecuting the church, didn't kill Saul. What did he do? He saved Saul. I think that we as a people of God underestimate God's grace yeah. and mercy uh -huh. the most. Because we want to crucify people when they, oh, like that woman that got caught in sin. Oh, we want to crucify them. Yeah, oh, hello, somebody. They want to stone them to death. And you know you're doing the same thing. Hello, Come somebody. On, oh, dead. you've done the same thing. Oh, uh, well, how were you living when you was young? Uh, you think you got it together now. But we know. Uh, oh. Yes, honey, no, honey, honey. Come on there. <laughs> hello, somebody. His mercy, his grace. Amen. Oh, that's, that's what I got from that study about the uh, Jonah. Mm -hmm. Jonah. Jonah didn't want them folk to get saved. Hello, yes, somebody. He, he, he hated them. Hello, somebody. God said, I got some folk that in there that don't even know their right hand from their left hand. Right. You want to kill them all. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got children. Some of, some of not the children unto me. Hello, somebody. Right. Hello, some. And his grace and his mercy. And then the sad thing about Jonah is that after they got saved, Jonah said, I know you was going to save them. That's right. why they didn't want to go. <laughs> Hell, his grace and his mercy. He didn't kill Saul. He saved Saul. Man, man. Yeah. Thank you. Wait a minute. I couldn't help this. I was listening in Sunday school this morning. Come on. Contrast. Come on. Mm -hmm. Other lessons. Yes. Mm -hmm. You had this young rich ruler. Yeah. Right. Who was would have been the perfect member of the All right. church. Yeah. Pastor oh. of the church. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Coming to Jesus saying, I got it all together, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Jesus had to tell him, you think you got it together. Yes, Come on. But let, let me tell you who's really God in your life. Yeah. All right. G give, give away your money. Right. 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 Hello, somebody. Well. Oh, that blew his mind. Right. Well. Hello, somebody. He looked apart. He was. He, he looked holy. He looked right. He, 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 he was. Everybody would want him to be a member of the church. Right. Well. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Those are the kind of people we want to get yeah. to. Come on up in here. Yeah. They got money. Hello, somebody. Yeah, yeah don't let them get away, right? Oh, but then 
God want to go and save somebody like Saul. Yeah. Come on. yeah amen. See, we don't, we don't want them kind of members up yeah. in here. Those members that, that was out there, oh, persecuting folk uh, as drug dealers. Hello, son. Persecuting folk uh, as politicians and law. Persecute. That, 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 that's doing everybody wrong. Everybody hate them. Uh, everybody want them dead. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And then God had the audacity not to kill him, but to save him. Amen. 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 And that's why I always say, oh, we always pray for those that are in the box, the ten most wanted, because you never know. Oh, you never know who might get saved. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. If Saul could get saved. Amen. Hello, somebody who had the direct opposite lifestyle. You never know who can get saved Amen. as we pray and intercede on their behalf. Hello, somebody. Oh, we know that everybody won't get saved, but we know there can be some surprises. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. That, that person that you thought would never get saved. That person in the city that's bad, bad, Leroy Saul. Hello, something been talking about you, been mistreating you. Oh, you and your family, and your church. Hello, somebody. Oh, but you began to pray because there's somebody in here that was a bad, bad Leroy Saul. Hello, somebody. Now God's, oh, has recreated you. Oh, you was out there raising hell. Now God have you raised in heaven. Hello, somebody. On every case and on every point. Hello, somebody. And she. God has the power to save anybody. Hello, somebody. And this is his own testimony. He said, well, well, um, uh, what did he say? What did he say? We, we all, all fell down, down, and I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is useless for you to fight against my will. Ooh, it's useless. I don't care who you are. It's just useless. Somebody, it's useless for you to fight against yeah. oh God's will. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much influence you have. I don't care how bad you are. I don't care. Oh, God says it's useless to fight against my will. And that's the folk that fight against the will of God in the church. You don't want to see people get saved. You don't want to see the building get built. You don't want nothing to be done but what has already been done. Hello somebody you don't want nothing to change. Hello somebody. Oh God says it's useless to fight against my will but there are folk who tried Jonah. Oh did you try? Oh I didn't fight I ran. Oh how did that happen? What, how did that work out for you? Oh everywhere I went God was. Hello somebody. Oh Saul what's your own testimony? Oh doing all the dirt against the church and all of a sudden I got knocked down and got knocked out hello somebody my life changed completely oh and God told me it was useless to fight against his will for my life oh and that's why we're praying because if it's God's will for some folk to get saved hello somebody they're going to get saved hello somebody oh it's useless hello Somebody, hello, somebody, God. Oh, may want to save some folk in your family. Don't you give up? Oh, they might be in prison right now, but don't you give up? They may be living a wild life right now. Oh, but don't you give up? Oh, it may seem like you've been praying for years. Oh, and it won't come. But I can tell you, oh, if it's the will of the Lord, it's useless to fight again. Hello, somebody. I said the testimony oh, about E.K. Bailey all the time. And one Sunday, oh, a man came uh, walking down the aisle saying, what must I do to be saved? And he was floored. Uh, and we were all wondering why he, he was floored. Oh, and his testimony was, I've been praying for this man for over 20 years. Uh, right. And now today he's gotten saved. Hello, Amen. somebody. Oh, it's God's will. Hello, son. You can't fight against it. Thank you, neighbor. Never. Oh, neighbor. If it's God's will, you can't fight against it. Son. Oh, and I hear good news today. If you're saved today and people are persecuting you, keep your faith. Keep your hope. Oh, do not turn. Oh, bad for bad. But turn the other cheek and pray. 
pray. For God says, vengeance is mine. Oh, and I will repay. Oh, and it's his will. Oh, he repays Saul, but he didn't repay him like most folk wanted him to get repaid. He saved him. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Boy, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I know some of y'all don't think that's wonderful, but that, that's wonderful. Oh, Lord, don't kill him, Satan. Don't yeah. kill him, Lord. Don't kill him. Yeah, Lord. Yes. Don't kill him, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know yes. what he's been doing. Yes, yes. You know what he's been doing. Yeah. But don't kill him, Lord. Save him. Save him. Yes, sir. 